All right, everybody, so we're going to do the four square plus three. I'm just going to explain how it works again, and then we're going to uh, be able to use it. If uh, Tristan would just put his chair down, we could get started. All right, so as everybody can see, this is the four square. It's got one, two, three, four squares here, and it's got the topic in the center. This one's a little bit different in that it has the subtopic lines listed out for you, and it has the detail. That's why it's four square plus three. The three are the three details for every subtopic. Uh, today's topic that we chose was something is the best cartoon ever and I'm gonna choose Avatar The Last Airbender is the best cartoon ever alright so we're going to use the full, the one, two, three subtopics to talk just about our topic. We don't want to talk about Korra, who came after Avatar Aang, because she's not part of Avatar The Last Airbender. She's part of Korra. Okay? We don't want to talk about SpongeBob. We don't want to talk about Phineas and Ferb. We want to talk about Avatar The Last Airbender. Okay? So, I'm going to talk about Aang. Aang is the best cartoon character, period, okay? Uh, we want to talk about, um, I want to talk about the mythology of the uh, world. In Avatar, and I want to talk about benders. Okay, so very simple. I've chosen three things that talk about why Avatar: The Last Airbender is the best cartoon ever. Now I got to go in and I got to put my details. Aang is the best cartoon character. Why do I think that? I think that because. He is smart and funny and probably, but right now I'm just putting information. Smart and funny and caring because he is. He's caring. Why would he uh, want to save the whole world if he didn't care? Uh, he is a bender of all elements, and he has a cool pet, or pets, and that would be Momo. And Appa. Okay, so I got some details about Aang. This form calls for three. I could put more if I want. You know, I could put four. His tattoos. Um, he's got his airbender tattoos. A cool arrow on his head, but he's also got the cool things that go down his arms, and yeah, he's got some cool airbender tattoos. So I can put more than three if I'd like to. Uh, the mythology of the world in Avatar. So there are four nations, and there are four bending styles, and they're attached to the nations. You got you got air. You got earth, you got water, and you got what seems evil, but it's really not. You got fire. Okay? And you have the uh, different nations equal different earth cultures 
Um, what you guys might not know, but when you're growing up and you know a little bit about world history, you learn really fast that the different nations on Avatar the Left Airbender equal different cultures throughout the history of our world. Okay? Interesting stuff. Uh, myth out the mythology of the world of Avatar. One other thing that I'd like to mention is um, that the nations are usually at peace, but not right now. Comma and there is one person who can bring peace. And that is the Avatar. Okay? So I'm getting it all filled in. Nothing special. Just got to fill in the ideas. As long as your ideas are talking about why you think your cartoon is the best cartoon ever, or your topic. As long as it talks about your topic, you're good. Okay, so benders. And obviously I'm going to have to put a four here because there are four different styles of bending, right? So you got air benders. And those would be the air nomads. And that would be from the what? From the sky bison, right? They were the first air benders. Okay, you got earthbenders. And they they're kind of like peasants. Yes, and they they first the first earthbenders were the badger moles. You got your firebenders. And they're they're kind of like the um, royalty, and their first benders were the dragons, and then you got your water benders, and they are kind of like Eskimos. And does anyone remember what the first uh, water benders were? Huh? The uh, the fish, the earth, the the uh, moon, the moon, yeah, moon spirit, and the moon spirit and the ocean spirit, and they are fish. Okay, so every kind of bender is a different kind of culture, but it's also uh, what was its first. Thing to bend. Who was the first one to bend it? For the airbenders, it was the sky bisons. Something that big should not be able to fly. Badger moles, something that big shouldn't be able to dig holes, but it can very well. Dragons, well, obviously, breathe fire. Um, and the moon spirit and the ocean spirit are fish. So yeah, makes sense for waterbenders. Okay, so now that we have the whole thing filled out and I kind of explained why I think Avatar is the best thing, now we come up to the summary and the summary is a little confusing. Okay, all you have to do with the summary basically is you have to take your topic and your subtopics and blend them together into kind of a summary. And it can be really simple. Remember, the four square is not a finished product. We're going to take what we have on the four square and we're going to put it together, adding stuff, subtracting stuff, as we feel we need to make this better. So to do the summary, we start with Avatar is the best cartoon ever. And then we look at the first subtopic. Aang is the best character. Okay, then we look over here. The mythology. The mythology in Avatar is clever. 
Okay, I didn't use the word clever up here, but I'm free to do what I need to do, as long as I stick with what it says. I just talked about the mythology in the world of Avatar, and I did I put the same thing here. And then benders. Benders make the show fun and exciting. Okay, and so that's the whole form. That's all you have to do to complete this form. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these things and I'm going to condense them together and write them down into a five paragraph essay. That's what this form is designed to do. It's designed to write an informative essay. Now obviously this is not enough for a paragraph. So I'm going to actually have to look at my topic. I'm going to have to talk about a little bit more than just this. I might tell what about it I like, what, uh, why I think it's important, why I think it's the best. And then I can launch into my first paragraph, my second paragraph here, my third paragraph here, my fourth paragraph here, and my summary or my, my wrap-up paragraph here. But I need all these parts in order to write the whole thing.